Now if you want a really nice point on it, just get hold of it up here and pull. Handy dandy little torch. Yes, you knew if I was here there was going to be a torch. <laughs> I travel with torches, the airlines take them away with me. I buy more, they take them away, and I'm still good with that because I will always have the torch. All right, so I heated that a little bit so I could pull it. Now see the little, how cute is that? All right, so that's all there is to those. It's a simple heat the isomer, put it into there, and then move it. Everything should have movement to it. Nothing, nothing should be, you know, completely flat. Just give it a little movement. Okay. Perfect. I think I'm going to come in here, and I'm actually going to open up that leaf. And you're probably wondering, how in the world is she going to open that leaf? Well, she's going to do it with her torch. All right. Right into the center here, I want that opened. And I'm going to take the torch right into the center. See it? Open it up. Catch it. It's hot. Now you might ask, why in the world did she do that? Well, because we're going to do the under the seed cake. And we can do this. I'm going to attach that right back there. And then have a fish coming right through it. All right? So see the movement then? Up and around. We're just going to let it cool then. All right? So that's for our leaves for that type. Now we're going to do the um, seagrass. So we're going to put these over here. Get those up and out of our way. This is set here long enough to, to cool. So we're going to put this down here. Using our same green. Oh, but I'll show you this one really quick too since I have it here and I told you how you could do it. We're going to pour that into here. Each of these have a valley and the peaks. You can see the little edge that runs along through here. These are your peaks into the valleys. We always want to pour into the valley side of it. And that's so that the sugar actually goes down inside of them. All right. Let's put it down there, move it back, move it back the other way. I don't want this really thick, so I'm just going to add a little bit to it. Right. Don't worry about how it looks. I know, you folks are going really? kind of messy. It is, but you know what? It's fun. We were always told, don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. Well, I've never listened. I play with my food. All right, we're going to give that just a couple of seconds. I press down a little bit on it. I clean my edges. Off it's going to come. I'm going to pull it off of here. Look at the details in that. All right. wow. And then once again, move it, stretch it, turn it. Now, think about that up underneath the sea. Isn't that gorgeous? Here we go. I cracked the top, not to worry. Handy torch. Wait for it to cool. Just fix it. It's a great thing about sugar. You can just heat it, attach it. We have a question. Hoo hoo! Yep, and when you're finished with the isomalt, how do you clean it out of the cup? Oh, I have a husband that does that. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we obtain one of those? That's going to um, be the actually, next question. Um, it's a really good question because it's super easy. This is done nice and dry. At home, I have a plastic container that's got a lid, and I keep my cups with the isomalt melted in them, lined up in there, and then I keep a desiccant in it. And what a desiccant is is a drying agent, and it keeps the moisture out of things. And they do have food grade ones. Cake Play sells them. Why is food grade? Because our is food we are playing with, so we do want to make sure we do that. When it gets down so far and it's looking kind of yucky, what I do is I turn them over in my dishwasher on the top or the bottom and I hook them onto the little rungs and then I turn the dishwasher on on just a regular normal wash. And it's just sugar. It melts right on down, does not hurt your dishwasher whatsoever. Here's a piece of advice I will give you. Just before the drying cycle, you want to make sure that you open the, draw, the dishwasher and check to make sure that all of them have stayed put because they're very social and they like to flip themselves over and find a way down to visit the heating element. If this happens, you will know it immediately by the smell of it. Doesn't hurt anything, just when it cools, you just pop this off. Doesn't hurt the heating element, but it's just the smell. So just give it a, you know, make sure that it's hooked on well so it doesn't go visiting. 
The other way you can do it is just put hot water into your sink, set them in there, and come on back in a couple of hours and rinse them out, you're done. Super easy.